we are going to talk about this guy today. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. It's a scorcher out today, um, but we're out doing some bass fishing. Um, and I wanted to do a little video about this guy right here. Uh, this is my Shimano BFS combo. Um, I have had it for a little under a year now. Um, I picked it up uh, middle of summer, end of summer last year, and have used it a fair bit. And um, the reason why I want to do a video about the BFS world, BFS setup, um, BFS fishing, is because of how fun it is. BFS has been in the JDM market for a few years now, um, but last year Shimano brought their BFS setups um, in the Corrado, at least for now. There is a, uh, as you guys saw with the iCast 2023, there's a new model coming out, uh, but they brought it to the American market. And um, it's definitely been hyped a little bit, I must say. I've seen, you know, over different platforms. It's been hyped a little bit. Um, and I think rightfully so, because it opens up a whole new different type of fishing and baits that you can use that you wouldn't be able to use with a bait cache. You'd have to use a spinning combo. Um, overall, BFS fishing is a lot of fun, and uh, I want to talk about it. Today. So I have, as you guys can see, the Corrado BFS combo. This is the BFS XG in a left-hand model. It comes in both a left and a right hand, just in the XG version. So it's eight two to one. Uh, you got 50 yards of eight pound mono on there. You can fit um, eight pounds of drag and seven plus one bearings. As for the rod, I am rocking a Corrado rod as well. I decided to go with the Corrado. Um, this is the seven two. 72 um, ML BFS, so medium light BFS rod. Uh, I have, uh, I believe it's either six or eight pound Shimano Mastiff on there. I believe it's eight because this rod's rated uh, seven to 14 pound line. So I believe it's eight pound Mastiff on there. Um, and it's rated for three sixteenths to one ounce, um, one ounce bait. Uh, there's a bunch of other companies that have BFS rods in particular, um, also some BFS reels out there. Uh, but you guys know I've been working with Shimano for a couple of years now, uh, so of course I went the uh, Shimano route. So what is BFS? Uh, BFS stands for Bait Finesse System, and the magic behind BFS is in the spool. Um, the spool is ultra lightweight, very, very thin, um, and can accommodate that very thin line that you rock with BFS combos. Um, the ultra light spool allows you to cast those light baits or those weightless baits uh, with ease and kind of puts together that whole bait finesse system, the whole bait finesse setup. In the Corrado, you also have Shimano's finesse uh, tune brake system, FTB, uh, which makes the spool even lighter. It moves the braking system from the spool into the uh, palming side right there. So it just makes you a little bit more efficient uh, casting those light baits. A couple more things about the uh, Corrado here. You guys will see. I need to loosen the drag so I don't break my rod. We got a clicking drag, which is mighty cool. I really, really like that. And of course, we got that low profile slick Corrado look. Uh, so that's the reel. Um, as for the rod, as you guys can see, black and green Corrado rod. Nice soft tip. Um, there are lighter and softer rods offered, uh, but I went with this as my first setup. Um, like I said, the 7.2 medium light, um, since I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, but it's been about a year now, and um, I must say, overall, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, those one, two pounders feel like absolute giants on this combo, and you're able to fish um, a little bit differently, a lot more finesse, like like the bait finesse system implies, and um, definitely gets fish on the boat. I haven't caught any giants on it yet, but I've definitely done well for numbers. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to strap on the GoPro and go do some fishing with the BFS combo and uh, catch a couple of bass. I do like beavers. Might as well go full JDM in this video, eh? <laughs> Three and a half inch. I will take that. Not really a color that 
I use a lot. But we'll see if they like it today. And that's what we're going with to start. Let's see. Let me set my drag. Alright, should be good. And, um, I mean, it's definitely a slower type of fishing. <laughs> oh. No way. That was first cast. <laughs> oh, it's a rock bass. Alright, that doesn't really count. <laughs> like I said, definitely a good way to catch a lot of fish. And, I mean, you don't have to fish just, like, weightless Texas rigs on here. Um, throw a wacky Sanko. Throw a Texas rig Sanko. Uh, I moped last weekend with this. Uh, with a quarter size, I think, or three sixteen size head. Uh, you can fish really, really right, light Ned rigs. Uh, drop shot. Pretty much anything you want. Obviously, you don't want to exceed uh, what's rate, what your rod's rated for. But, um, yeah, it just helps you cast, like, weightless stuff, and you get to use a bait caster, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, fish is on it. Oh, it came off. Um, areas where this can be better than a spinning combo, for example, would be, uh, docks. I mean, using light line on a spinning combo anyways, but docks, you can kind of have more control over the fish in trees have more control over the fish uh areas like that where you still want that light line that finesse approach uh but you want to be able to control the fish a little bit more that's where i pick this up for sure or if you just want to go out and smack a ton of fish on a bay caster <laughs> Not a rock bass. <laughs> oh yeah, he's pinned. Oh, it's probably not too good idea to do that. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Still small, but that felt good. <laughs> It's quite like crazy on the light setups. Look at my craw. <laughs> nice. This guy has teeth, sharp teeth. it twice. Ah, they can't resist that cover crawl. <laughs> oh, 
That's a little better. Oh, it choked it. That's a little bit better. <laughs> that looks like the big ones are a little deeper. Or bigger ones, I should say. <laughs> On that cover crawl. Yeah. There's a bunch of them down, down there might be small enough. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's a five pounder. <sighs> That's a tank. That's a tank. It's a tank large mouth. <laughs> That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh, he's heavy. Look how small my cover crawl looks in there. There you go. My first big fish on the BFS. Oh. <laughs> that was so fun. Guess how deep that was. Guess how long it took my cover car to get down there. <laughs> 20 feet deep. So, <laughs> uh, cover crawl was down there for a very long time. <laughs> and I would have not caught that fish if it wasn't for Mega Live in the front. Cause I would have never known that there was a rock there in 20 feet. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wrap up the video there. It's getting uh, a little laid out, so I gotta pack the boat up. So, yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, fishing with BFS definitely has its place. It's definitely a lot of fun, and it definitely, most definitely, catches fish. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave links where you guys can pick up this combo, uh, both in Canada and in the US. And I will see you guys in the next one.